Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little haul for you. Now it's my first time doing a haul so please bear with me if I do something wrong or you know I just make a whole mess of the whole thing. But anyways first of all I'm going to be showing you this dress from H&M. All of this is just stuff that I got while I was over in London. It's not really a lot but seeing as I like never do shopping it's an event for me because yeah like I never buy stuff um yeah so it's just this dress from H&M this dress is 15 pounds and I just think it's really cute I like the whole stripe thing going on and um normally I don't like to wear like horizontal stripes especially on my top half because I am top heavy but um this dress just works regardless of that and then like this detail thing on the waist does kind of give the illusion that your waist is a little bit not really smaller than it is but it's a nice slimming illusion on the waist area so yeah this is the only dress that i got i thought i would get more dresses but i don't know i tried on a few and this was kind of the only one that really fit um and that wasn't super expensive next i have this pair of jeans this pair of jeans from asos they're actually mum jeans, um, I don't know, high-waisted jeans, mum jeans, whatever you want to call them. I got these for about £22, I think. I can't really remember exactly how much they were. They were on sale. Um, I think it was about £22. And I really like these. I was looking for like mum jeans for freaking ages. And I don't know what possessed me to buy these because normally I'd always have to try on jeans first before buying them. But um, I think it was the whole free returns thing because with the ASOS in Ireland, not the ASOS in Ireland, but when you get ASOS and get it delivered to Ireland, it's not free returns. You have to pay for the return. So I'm always really like apprehensive to buy stuff online just in case it doesn't fit. I don't want to have to pay to return it. But yeah, I got these jeans and they probably look massive on camera, but they're really comfortable. They fit like a glove. Well... They fit as good as jeans are going to get because I always have a problem with my waist. With jeans, it's always too big on my waist, but it fits right on my legs and my hips area. So that's that anyway. Moving on to footwear. I only got three pairs of shoes while I was over in London. And two of them are from, I can't even remember what the name of the shop is. I think it's called Deutschmann or something. Um, If you're... A frequent visitor of Westfields why the hell did I say it like that if you go to Westfields often you know this shop it's um the shop with like all the shoes that are good quality but surprisingly cheap I just got this pair of black um just black, black basic basic pointy shoes and they were 15 pounds I just thought I needed a nice basic pair of black shoes you know to go with different occasions and scenarios or whatever um so yeah i got those and then i also got these pair of black brogues i had been looking for a pair of black brogues for freaking ages and they're always like super expensive and i didn't want to just waste money on a pair from pennies because i mean like they'd be gone in a few weeks but i got these and they're really durable. I have gotten shoes from that shop before. Trust me, guys, like they will last you freaking ages. I got a pair of flats from there for about £11, I think. And the sole on these flats are, they're proper shoes for a good price. So just trust me on this one. Go there and sort yourself out. But yeah, I got these and I absolutely love them. I would prefer if the sole was more of a, earth tone color instead of like just black but I suppose like all black everything and then I got these oh my goodness I'm so in love with these shoes initially when I saw them I honestly like I won't lie I didn't like them at all but they grew on me especially after I tried them on these are um roshis but they're woven roshis um and i tried these on in the nike outlet was it the nike outlet or the actual shop i can't remember it's the big one on oxford street anyway um 
and I absolutely loved them. They come in all black, a blue and kind of like a pinky coral colour and then there's these. Oh and they come in like a creamy off-white colour as well. But yeah I went for these, the grey and the purple and I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. Initially I wanted like you know the original Roshi design but I really like these as well. You can just slip in and out of them and I feel like they go with more non-sporty outfits as well because you know they don't have the laces. They're closer to shoes than runners are. But yeah, I got these on sale on ASOS for about £41, which is like such a steal because normally they're about £70, £80. So yeah, woven roshis and I have to like try not to freaking wear them every single day because I absolutely love them. And here's a tip guys for cleaning this part because before I got roshis, I was always wondering, Jesus, like this white part would get really dirty quite fast. Listerine is just like, the best thing ever i realized when my boyfriend tony he stepped on like the side of it one time we were out together and i was like really angry then i remember that i read on like some blog post or something somewhere that listerine is really good for like getting certain stains off so i just happened to have a little travel size listerine thing in my bag and i just put on some tissue and it came completely just like clean off the next thing i have is this bag from Zara. Oh Jesus, I'm nearly falling out of my hand. This bag from Zara. Get a good look at it there. Um, yeah, I got this bag from Zara and it's just your basic black, you know, shopper, tote, whatever you want to call it. And it has three compartments. There's this thing on the side, the same one on the other side and it has this little clippy thing here. And then it has the main compartment in the middle and then it has like two little pocket things in there as well which i really like it's handy for like you know keys sunglasses carmex lip gloss whatever and then also it has the big strap which i like because i'm not one of those girls who likes just like hanging it like this and doing that the whole time i just can't i feel like I don't know, I just don't like it and it hurts my arm as well. But yeah, this bag was £28, I think. £28 or £29. I'm sorry I'm a disaster with these prices and stuff, but I'll put links in the description in the description box of all the stuff that I can put links to. Um yeah, so I didn't actually pay for this bag, but I paid like three pounds for it because I had a Zara gift card. So in all honesty, that's the only reason why I got this bag because I've had this gift card for about, I don't know, like over a year and I had a certain amount left on it, £27. So that's why I only paid about £2 something for the bag. But yeah, if I was paying it with my own money or if I was paying for it with all of my own money, I wouldn't have gone for this. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's your basic black bag, but it just didn't catch my attention you know there's nothing special about it and one thing that i would say i don't like about this bag is that whenever i hang it and obviously like i have stuff in it so there's a bit of weight in the bag these bits here i don't know if you can see but like this part here on both sides kind of like i don't know the weight distribution distribution is just crap with this bag it looks really ugly it does that kind of gaping thing like that and it just i don't know if it's just me being pernickety or you know you are like this as well i don't like it when bags do that i want them to stay perfect all the time <laughs> um but yeah zara bag now on to hair and beauty i got the cantu what's it called Cantu Argan Oil Leave in Condition Leave in Conditioning Repair Cream. I had seen so many YouTube videos and reviews about this conditioner, and I'd been dying to try it for ages, but I just never got it because ordering it online, like the only website that I found anyway, apart from eBay and Argos, Argos, eBay and Amazon. <laughs> Apart from eBay and Amazon, like the postage is just ridiculous. This thing only costs about 
three pounds seventy nine p. That's exactly how much it costs. I got it from Pax, by the way. Um, but then the postage for this tiny little thing is ridiculous. And I know buying in bulk would make sense, but I just never got around to doing it. I finally went into the actual pack shop and I got like two of these and I'll probably do a review like in particular for, for this product in a separate video but let me just tell you guys I absolutely love it like I heard pros and cons to it you know from different people but I it works for me I used it in my hair after my last wash which was yesterday and I also got this eco styler thing I don't know if I said it in one of my vlogs or a previous video. The last time I was in London, I got um, one of these, a bigger one actually, but I forgot to put it into my cabin luggage and it got taken off me and literally like right in front of my eyes, he just threw it in the bin in security. And I have to admit, I did shed a little tear. But yeah, I got the Eco Styler Argan, or Argan Oil Styling Gel. And um, yeah, it was only like 179. So I really envy you guys that live over there. Like you don't know how good you have it because this stuff costs like five euro over here. People are just, yeah, rip offs. But yeah, I got the Eco Styler Gel finally. This should last me a good year at least because I don't really use that much gel in my hair. And last thing I got from Pax was Look at this guys, it's a massive thing of bobby pins. I know I'm not the only one who constantly buys bobby pins and literally like after a week, half of them are gone, just disappeared into nothingness. Like, I don't know what happens, but I always lose them or the black um, like covering on it just comes off, goes all flaky and stuff. By the way guys, sorry about the lighting, it's Ireland. Yeah, I live in Ireland and it's really cloudy today. So the lighting is just like all over the place with this video so yeah i apologize about that um but yeah um five pounds for 500 pins i think that's a pretty good bargain because i know i'd pay about 150 for like 40 pins here um what's 150 that's like 50p or one pound yeah one pound one euro fifty you do the math <laughs> but yeah i just thought this was a really good bargain and i like the way it's in like this little box thing so i can you know keep it, keep them together and finally i got um the sleek face contour kit i got two of them actually because again sleek i think there's only like one sleek counter in Dublin and it's like really far from where I live so I just I don't even go to that part of Dublin I just can't be bothered it's too far but yeah only 650 guys so I had to get two of them the last one I got was a year ago and I've like seriously hit pan there's only like you know those little bits on the side so I knew I had to get another one this is just it I got it in medium so yeah I can't wait to start using it and I use it pretty much every day just to contour. I'm not really like big into contouring and, you know, highlighting and makeup and all that stuff. But this just works really well for me for the basic stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope I, you know, did the haul thing some justice. I don't know. But, yeah, thumbs up if you enjoyed and comment below if you have you know any questions comments if you got any of the same things if you have any recommendations of stuff that i should try but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time Bye.